hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you demo about adding google material icon in dotnet mavi application so let's uh, go through it okay so for downloading google material on uh, just use this link so i'm just going to use this link here and here from the font just download this google material tag pillar the ttf file you can download any other also like if you want rounded shape icon and sharp so you can download any of icon font so here i'm just going to download this one and this i'm just going to add here in dotnet mavi fonts folder here in resources fonts folder okay now this font registration i'm just going to specify here in mavi program.cs okay so here i'm just going to add now at fonts dot add font and here i'm just going to specify this font name file name with the extension and here that font alias you can specify now this font style i'm just going to specify here in style then style styles.jml file so i'm just going to create style for material like it's uh, going to be applicable for label so i'm just going to set target type label and also i'm just going to specify key so that we can use for referencing this label here font family i am just going to set as a whatever the alias name here we specified you can set also default font size if you want so here i'm just going to set as a 24 25. okay now this material icon i can use here in main page dot jml okay so first here i'm just going to create one models folder in that i will add icons file so all the material icon i'm just going to add here in this class unicode presentation of icon okay and the icons uh, here from this link you will see all the google material icons okay let's say if i want to use this home so you will see here this unicode rep representation of this icon so you can just copy that and here okay now this home icon here in main page.jml i can use So from here on label text i'm just going to set as a icons dot home icon and that style here i'm just going to set as a material icon now let me run the application and let's see it's displaying or not and here this icon is unicode uh, in Unicode format, I need to specify. So I just added this line slash you. After that, you can add whatever the code that showing here.
okay so it's displaying here so like this way you can add whatever the icon from this link whatever the icon you want and another way like if you do not want to add uh, icon just manually then you can use uh, this link that will convert that font file into unicode format so you can just select the font okay and here you will see all the unicode representation of all the icons so this class now you can add that so it has all the icons so you can use this class here okay so that's all for today i hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching it